Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind! Loading. Oh, the bow battle with the dragon? Yeah. Like, oh yes, the, the bow is so going to do something. So... Last time we got a quest that's going to take us to south of uh, Pelagadi. Pel the Pel uh, Gad, I guess. Gad? <laughs> Not sure how you pronounce that last bit. Anyway, we're heading down to Pel. I'll have to drag in the thing on the floor. Oh, the, uh, the bow and arrow fight with the slug. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, since Skyrim actually, I assumed that the bow does start actually doing some damage. Although, again, the whole one shot to the knee takes me off from being a adventuring type is kind of eyebrow raising. Bitch, I got shot 20 times on the way here! <laughs> Adventure on my foot! Vixie says that uh, what Arrowton really means is that the guy got married. That would actually be more sensical. <laughs> Let's go a little bit further this way and see if this road finally goes south, and if it doesn't, I'll just start hopping hills. Oh, my stamina's out, we need to stop running. Uh, I've not stopped running unless I've been jumping. Not sure where you got this idea that I wasn't running for some reason at points. The only reason I wouldn't be is if I'm recovering stamina. Must be a garden there. Alright, road's heading south. Oh, Jesus. We need to go back to town. Shit.
blazingly bright. Guess you're used to the first person view, huh? Okay. To be honest, even in first person, I see very little difference in the speed. There is a little difference, but very little. You mostly see it when you see the body animation. <clears throat> back. Well, every couple of seconds or so, I believe, is uh, supposed to be counting down the addition to that skill while running, so it's just a matter of keeping up the running as often as possible when I have stamina. I think the trick of it, though, is, is that you do need stamina for it to count. Tempting, but not right now. Actually, how much? I need three more. I need to upgrade my sword skill. Pain the neck. There. Yo, rat. I need to stab you so I can continue upgrading my sword skill. I'd like to have a level up soon. Ah, oh, come on. Can I just hit you from here? Can't get you that way. Pain in the ass. Well, at least my destruction skill went up, though. Whiff, whiff, whiff. Nothing hits. Nothing. I'm inches away from him and nothing's connecting. I left behind is still out here. Um, let me see here. Local wasn't there. Prom broker, yep.
Did he just notice it's moving now? Yeah, those suckers are huge. They ain't just there for show. <clears throat> something I could sell this person that won't bankrupt them. That's about all I can do for right now, for this one. Unless I go, just go into other things. Let's leave these potions be. These actually would be better than most of the stuff I have in here, actually, now to think of it. Spider dagger. Meh. Short blade. Meh. The ruby in the glass. It's tempting, yes, but I don't think so. This, on the other hand. Ooh, almost exactly like 600 now, and that lightened my load a bit. What is so heavy? I don't think I have any uses for these. Bankrupt them. Um, oh, some of it's that axe. As much as I like that axe, I don't really have a use for an axe as this character type. 
So it's really tempting to toss it away. Long blade, long blade, short blade. Tempting to toss that out too. Um, I think I'll leave things as is for now though. Alright. Also, since we're still in town, might as well head across and go to our rest spot. Uh, yes, it does a lot of damage, Vixi, but uh, for one, it doesn't do magic spells, which actually make up for the lack of damage in my sword here. And for two, it's not a long blade, which is what I need for uh, getting experience and levels. So as nice as some of those stats are, it's still relatively useless in my character's hands, especially since I think that weapon type is like probably level one for her right now. She couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with that axe, barely. What say you? to kill this crazy person that just hangs around out here. Yes, Outlander? Yes, crazy lady. Ah, greetings. What shall we talk about? How about we talk about me resting? Bye. In a disturbing dream, you can only recall one part. A tall figure of a golden mask led you among the dead as though a wedding celebration you heard many voices but no lips moved you strained to breathe but your chest didn't move the tall figure spoke with each figure as he passed among them laughing and joking as if they were alive but they made no reply you tried to cry out but without breath your tongue fluttered in vain well, that was awkward I'm listening. Go ahead. There we go. Uh, resting there is illegal, so I didn't rest, I just waited. Yeah, there's actually a difference between resting and waiting. Waiting will do the same thing for at least passing time but it won't uh, heal your health or your mana nearly as much as actually resting would do. Stamina again. <clears throat> Ever play the game Killer Instinct? I played Killer Instinct on the Super Nintendo back in the day. I also have a couple of friends, one of which was is actually uh, Randy. Um, he and another friend of uh, his named Bob actually played Killer Instinct on the arcade back when they had an arcade in uh, the university we went to. Oh, that wolf howl that we heard was kind of close, yeah. Kind of close to its, like, victory howl, yeah.
Yeah, Saber Wolf. Saber Wolf! Do they have fatalities in Killer Instinct? That's how little I know or know or remember of Killer Instinct. <laughs> Do they have fatalities? I don't remember fatalities. Well, you're still dead. Did another one replace you yet? I don't see one. Fine by me. We're heading south. Where are we on the world map? Yeah, we gotta go a lot further south. Oh, hi. Killing moves, but I forget what they called them. I think they were called fatalities in Mortal Kombat. Yes, in fact, in Mortal Kombat they were. Hey, the running skill just got up to 16. I'll let it hit 17, and then I'll go back to jumping. Just try and go over this hill. What's on the other side? Hmm, trees. I'm trying to just get over that way. And it's almost like dead on that way. So wandering too far would just be a waste of time. Roads here, and there's nothing on it. If I didn't know any better, I'd be suspicious. White snake and clutches his head. Hardy har har. <laughs> Hair metal is better than most music these days, anyways. I see a mud crab. Pretty much everything that you eat restores fatigue. Killer Instinct Gold on N64, that's right, they had an N64 version, they had an arcade version, a Super Nintendo version, and then they come out with one for like, uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One a couple of years ago. That way. I know there's a newer recent one that came out, but I'm not sure for what systems it was for. I want to say it's late enough that they probably uh, put it on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. 2013 Xbox One, okay. Actually, since it's you only list Xbox One, I wouldn't be surprised if they're working on a PC port instead of working on a PlayStation port.
Oh, hi again. here can I just rest sure rest until healed there we go uh, 2016 Windows 10 aha Yep, and on Steam. Well, Steam means it's for PC, yeah. Unless they also meant it, meant, uh, it was also for the Windows 10 store, which no one bought it there anyways. <laughs> Nobody buys anything on the Windows 10 store, unless they really have to. <clears throat> Argonians totally don't look weird. <clears throat> version was released on March 2016 Windows Store and released in the Steam September 28th, 2017. <laughs> the Argonians. You're never going to let that one down, are you? Alright, you guys get Safa here. Is there an exit to the south end of town? Okay, here we go. Now then, journal. <sighs> Says that... Andrando ancestral tomb is south of Pelagad, just off the road. Just before you reach the fork where the road goes southwest towards Sainin and southeast to Vivek, may need an enchanted blade. So actually, we should follow the road until it splits and then head south. There's the road. Nope, you'll see when you play Skyrim and collect books. Lullface tomb itself, and just off the road of the fork, yeah. We need a head down this road and then we need to get to the fork and then Fred further south. Wait. So maybe something over here? Hi there. Are you a friendly one or are you gonna turn on me? Seems to be fine. 
big reptile puppy. Little Guar. Never wanted to fight that one, Guar. He just kind of came up and tried to bite my ass. But no, that's not a road. So, ah, uh, there we go. There's the fork up ahead. <clears throat> just right in case I forgot. Okay. Now, those, those are easy instructions. I just need to head south when I get the fork here. Bigum tree. Kind of loading off in the distance there. So somewhere south, like right up in here. Oh, actually. south of the city, so maybe it's over this way, actually. Just off the road. Either way, we've got a bit of scouring to do. Might be down there. And who be ye? Home or tomb, you make your mind. Looks like it should be like a farm or something, but it's an awfully small farmhouse. Allure's farmhouse. Hmm. Of course. seen anything much worth snitching. Ah, you must be the owner. Didn't take anything at all. <clears throat> no compass? No, there's no compass, just literally the uh, little mini-map in the bottom right-hand corner. And that is the there is someone watching me. world direction. Tell. Yes, yes, sir, there is someone watching you. Hi. Actually, self would be more this way, so I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if it's in a little crevasse over here. I see Spartans! Yes, I took gold, but I took gold when no one could see me, because I was inside a house. Something trying to pick a fight with me? Oh, high up there. Anything down here? I'm not seeing anything down here. Ah, there you are. Hey, 
should rest. Excellent. Now then. Wow, that's a lot of strength it wants to hand me. What does it all affect? Health, how much you can carry, maximum fatigue, and how much damage you can do in melee. I'll put one point in that just to help out. Actually, flexibility to deal with other characters and how much they like you. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> just a tiny bit. <laughs> Um, add some more to agility. Run faster, more like run longer. Because upping the skill itself is what causes me to run faster. Now, where is it? was my best ch ch chance of finding it was over here, so I'm guessing it's back this way more. Actually, I think he is moving faster. Or she, actually. Oh. Found it. And we rocked right past it. Whee! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Yep, that'd be the one. Use a bow. <laughs> I don't think uh, any of the stats actually directly increase run speed. Uh, damage. Maximum amount of magic. Uh, uh, magic and maximum fatigue. Ability to dodge, hit targets, melee, as well as maximum fatigue. So, strength and agility helped my maximum fatigue. Oh, there is a speed. Determines how fast you move. But, uh, where is that running skill now? Because <clears throat> I believe both help. And I have put a little bit into speed, it's just that I would only put literally only one point at a time per level into the speed. Um... Acrobatics? Jumping long distances. No, athletics then. Yeah. Athletic skill trains and conditions one for running and swimming. Skilled athletics move. Skilled athletes move short and long distances over land with speed and efficiency. They also swim swiftly underwater. So yes, both actually help. But being able to upgrade the skill itself is a little more important because you can actually directly affect that a lot faster than you could just spending one point on speed on its own. Oh yes, yeah, save actually, that's a good, thank you for the reminder. Dungeon mode. There is a dead body in here. Hi! Not friendly, I take it. <clears throat> I 
collect ectoplasm because I can. His boots are the only thing with an armor rating. What an idiot. Iron Claymore. Mmm. sensible thing he had on him. Bone meal again. Would like to make a donation of 35 and receive a blessing. Sure. sure what these do. That's sealed off for the moment. Let's see what's over this way. Actually, this map is at a really awkward angle. It's, but yeah, we're looking for a rune-covered skull. So keep our eyes peeled. I hear a lot of whispery hissing. Who's playing a Ryan Nino record down here? Hello? The ghost looks uh, better than anything else in the game. <laughs> yeah, that was actually a really well made ghost. I think the transparency actually helps it, probably. Hello, Skellingtons. Tell me you giggle. I saw you preparing a bow. You gotta come over here first. Ooh. No giggling yet. Spells really do work really well down here. You know what? I'm going to just respect the dead right now and not fuck with shit too much. Unless the dead try to fuck with me first. Speaking of which... Uh, nothing much. Cruel Shardow Arrow. Frost damage. Mmm, nasty piece of work you were, huh? Too bad the arrows suck in this game, probably. Oh, this doesn't seem to belong to anyone, but just in case. Again, not sure what these repair items do. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Wait, thirty. Eesh. Not right now. Keep in mind if I'm pitching for pennies. All right, everything else is behind doors. Let's actually backtrack a little bit and cover the earlier doors. Like this one right here. Hi. Ooh, 
short sword though. Never mind. Water walking. Already got that. Thanks though. Can't rest. Enemies are nearby. Okay, I think I hear them over or overhead or something around here. Let's check out this room. It had a skull. I didn't see one. We'll take a look again in a few moments. Not much up here, other than the creeping horror menace that is whatever the hell that thing was. moments. Not dead yet. The door still stops them. <laughs> I at least have that much smarts on my side. Doors will still stop them, beasts. Tempted to open the door. Actually, I'm going to save first. Be almost ready to finish him. What is that growing out of your head? What even are you? Okay. And those arrow shots, man. Okay. Still can't rest. I'd have to go outside, I think. <clears throat> Even though it's safe in here for the most part. How much do I want to bet the skull's down there? Actually, that's a good question. Can I just heal? Actually, save before I try that, too. Nope. Actually, restoration. I not seen anything. There we go. Till healed. So you thought that one of these guys had a skull on them. Yeah, that's that add-on seemed to be useless. I'm not sure what it did. I'd have to look it up and see. No, just a shield and a busted up sword on that one. Let's see what's down here again. There might have been something down here.
skull, but there's nothing bootable here. Bungler's Bane. So that. And that's Soul Skeleton. Oh, bone meal, bone meal. Axe. Bone meal, bone meal. No fancy behind this, is there? No. Goes further down, and there's also a side door here. It's actually getting to be just about time. I'll kick in this first and have a look. Oh, that looks like it's a long walk. Actually, I'm not wrong. <laughs> Little heart, hand meat, small chest. Ooh. Again, I'm gonna. Because I'm hearing the whispering hisses of the undead, I'm gonna leave their shite alone. Unless it's something I desperately need. That also tells me, wasn't there one that, over, that was a chest over here? Yeah. Yup. Okay, same deal. So, further down we go. Anyways, I'm going to have to start calling it here. We've been about an hour into this now. So it's just a matter of trying to find what we're looking for. And there's another skeleton down there. So I'm just going to back up a bit and let him come to me. So while we wait on the skeleton, I'd like to remind you all to keep sharing the uh, video links and uh, to keep commenting down below as you like. Uh, just, like, you don't need to scream. Uh, just, again, a reminder to smurf. Uh, but advice and some help if you think that we're doing something wrong is most definitely liked and uh, we will continue to play this next time I'll play this a bit more tomorrow at some point and uh, see how things go I level wise I think we're good for tonight and he's not coming even though he kind of looked at me funny uh, so that's gonna be it for now thank you all very much and I will see you all again later also a special thank you again to Vixie for joining me in the chat and a uh, further reminder that if you want to help out other than just sharing links and uh, inviting friends to watch, that you can help us out financially speaking by joining the Patreon, which is a monthly charge service. Uh, you can join the uh, stream, uh, Streamlabs, which is a uh, donate whenever you feel like service. Or you can also subscribe to the actual Twitch stream, which uh, you can find the links down below for all these as well on the YouTube videos. And thank you all very much for joining in and watching, and I will come back tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody.